Hi guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. Today I'm going to be working on my November bullet journal setup video. Um, so I did my October setup video at the end of September and it's now almost the end of October and I thought I would do my November setup video for you guys. Um, I'm actually filming this on the Monday 25th of October so I'm hopeful to have this video out for you guys by the end of this week, hopefully on the Friday. Um, yeah, it's uh, my daughter's on school break this week so um, we've got lots of activities planned and I'm not going to have much time to do any recording or work or anything like that this week so today's my only shot because she's out with my husband um, for the morning and I'm going to take advantage and get this video filmed. Okay, so for October uh, we did this sort of sunset-y type theme I guess, and ironically, now that I think about it, I've picked another sun-based theme for November. So I'm g I guess we're going with like the sun as our theme for this um, for the rest of this year. <laughs> so this was my habit tracker that worked out pretty well. Uh, my mood and pain tracker, these were fine. I was just finding it hard to remember to go in and fill them in, but it was fine to go in and do it retrospectively. You can see I've had a couple of like spikes in back pain. This, when I say this is a pain tracker, this is purely back pain because I have a back condition and I get flare ups every now and again. And so it's nice to keep track of when I'm having good and bad days. Mostly I've had good days, which is good. And I've had a few up and down days, um, usually around when I've done too much stuff <laughs> that I shouldn't be doing. Then um, brain dump section, this has lots of ideas for things I want to do for next month. My YouTube ideas, I actually have a different way that I want to track this going forward. I, this didn't really work for me. I had another idea which I do later. And then I've got my weekly spreads. Um, and then this is the week we're currently on. Um, I'm just going to hide this side just because it is a personal tracker page thing um so this is kind of how i want to do my youtube ideas going forward and i'm going to have a separate one for the art channel and a separate one for the uh, my knitting channel um so basically i break it down into like a table where i've got video title then if there's any prep filming editing voiceover uploading filling out the description boxes and then publishing i also need to add a column in there for thumbnail uh, for creating the thumbnails and that's how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have a double spread, one for, like I said, the art channel, one for my knitting channel. Then I also added a house to do things and things to get type of thing. So this is just a running list of things we still need to do around the house, and like decorating stuff, touching up paint here and there, et cetera, et cetera. So this is just a running list of things that I want to do. And this is a page I decided I'm not going to do going forward. So we're going to start fresh here for November. Like I said, I ended up picking out another sun theme, which was funnily enough. So it's very simple. I will be honest, I was struggling to come up with an idea for this month, but I'm just gonna do like a simple, almost like a sun as it's setting and then just radiating rays of sun. I picked out this range of Ecoline colors. I actually did go in with a permanent marker and lightly um, numbered them along the edge because some of the colors look fairly similar. And I swatched out all my warm colours of Ecoline pens that I thought I might want to use and then picked out the seven that I wanted to use for this month. So what I did last time, and it worked out pretty well, was I did the watercolour on the first page bit. And then for the rest of the month, I was using the Ecoline pens for adding the colour to the rest of the spreads, um, which I prefer. And it's really easy, it's easy for me to do that. So that's what I'm going to do this month as well. But because my colours aren't quite as distinct from each other as they were last month, um, I've, I just numbered them easily. And that should wipe off, even though it's a permanent market, it'll wipe off with like a bit of alcohol or something um, over time. This time I'm also going to use actual watercolour paper rather than the Tomoy River paper I used last month. Um, this is a Etcher labs uh postcard it's 100 percent cotton it's 230 gsm so it's a bit thinner than your standard watercolor paper but it's really good quality so i thought that would work for the for the uh painting up here in the corner it's obviously smaller than the page size which is fine so i'll probably stick the picture up here and then write the month at the bottom and then this will be just like a quick little month calendar and then my list of goals on this side and uh 
and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do there. And then I'll have my, I'll have a double spread here for my YouTube ideas, like I showed you before. Then I'll have a brain dump. Oh no, I'll probably do my habit trackers, on my trackers on this this spread. Then I'll have a brain dump and then the house stuff list on this side because I think it'll be good to have those together. And then I'll probably go into the weeks at that point. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, oh yeah, and I'll have the month for you as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty much it. Okay, so first things first, let's do this painting. I'll get this out of the way for now. And I'm actually going to do two at the same time, just because, you know, you never know, one might turn out better than the other. Hey guys, so I decided to switch to voiceover for this part, because I had originally done this all real time, recorded, with me voicing it, and it just, it was so long. So I've sped this up because it was super long. All the footage I took was about an hour and a half, and there's some other bits where I was doing stuff that wasn't being recorded. So it was, this whole process was quite long. But um, as you will have seen, I used a roll of washi tape to just draw the partial circle at the bottom of each page. And now I'm just going with a ruler and ruling out lines radiating from the setting sun, essentially, which is what those, that partial circle is at the bottom, to create like sun rays, essentially. Something very simple motif. And then um, before I started painting, I went in with a kneadable eraser and just rolled it over the paper to lift up some of that extra graphite. I mean, I can still see the lines when I'm painting it, but on camera, it's not picking it up too much. Um, so first up, I uh, mixed a dark red. So I just took, I think it was the scarlet color that I have in this Paul Rubens palette and um, mixed it with a bit of like a burnt umber color. I think they call it burned brown in their palette um, and to get this sort of perylene maroon sort of shade and it's really beautiful sort of dark moody kind of red and I was trying to somewhat match the colors from the Ecoline pens that I'd picked out um, with the watercolors so I mean I guess I could have actually done this with the Ecoline pens thinking about it now in hindsight I'm sat here recording the voiceover and um, I was like, well, I could have just done this with the Ecoline pens. And I'm sat here trying to like color match it with the, with the watercolor ink pens. And I was like, why didn't I just use those? Anyway, here we are. I felt like painting, I guess. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going back and forth between the two, mixing different shades of reds um, to oranges to yellows. Um, like I said, occasionally, occasionally you'll see me pulling in my caddy sketchbook where I'd swatched out the eco line pens just to like swipe a bit of color next to one of the colors to see how close I am if it's a, in the ballpark um, and then I just proceed and as I was doing it I was kind of like jumping around from one area to another so I was trying to avoid painting in an area where there was you know wet paint on either side of it so um, so yeah, I was trying to wait for sections to dry before I painted in a section that was directly next to an already painted section. Wow, that sounded more confusing than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just going in, painting in these lines. And like I said, I did both together. Um, the one on the left ended up was like the more quote unquote random one. And the one on the right was the more organized and orderly one. There was like a rhythm to it. And uh, I actually prefer the one on the right a lot more says a lot about me and the way I like things to be orderly <laughs> so so yeah while sometimes my brain is a bit chaotic I do like things to be in order at times so yeah I definitely preferred the finished effect of the one of on the right it just appealed to me personally more um that not it's not to say there's anything wrong with the one on the left it's just personal preferences and that's absolutely fine all right I'm gonna leave you here for the voiceover um Real Time Me is going to be popping back in just a second. And then I'll be back with the voice, uh, voice blah, blah, back with the voiceover after this next bit. See you in a minute. So I'm back now. These are all dry. I'm going to take a metallic pen. I think probably this gold acrylic paint pen will work. I'm going to do some outlines. Is this working? Yeah. 
So that should work quite nicely, I think. That, I just think it will neaten up and give it a nice look. Now it's actually just started raining outside, so if it gets really loud, I'll probably switch to voiceover for the rest of the video. But for now it seems to have quietened down a little bit, so we shall just persevere and see how things go. I'd already decided I don't like this one, I'm not going to be using that, so I stopped with the outlining on it. And I didn't like how it was looking using the ruler, I much preferred the freehand look. So that's done now, I'm going to take the tape off and then see how it looks, see what we think. Quite happy with how it's turned out, like specifically, I'm quite happy with how that one's turned out in the end. I added some extra gold dots on this one because I smudged a bit of gold on there, but I actually might go ahead and do more. So that's going to be it's nice and shiny. <laughs> so that's going to be like the, what's it, little header page thing for the cover page. There we go. Cover page drawing for the spread this month not a huge fan of this i might just finish it off to be honest let's just let's just finish this off quickly okay it doesn't look too bad now that i finished it but i much prefer the orderliness of the colors in this one than the randomness i went with on this one um just personal preferences really but that's how they turned out quite happy with that this is the one that's going to go in the book this one I'm not sure might actually just use it as a postcard or give it to my daughter she always likes when I give her little paintings that I've done which is very sweet um okay so we'll stick that into the book in a minute so that'll go on to that page there and this is going to be our month cover page Okay, back again with the voiceover. And uh, yeah, I just had to delete a bunch of footage where I'm just faffing around trying to figure out what to do next. So what I ended up deciding to do was um, I decided to get rid of that little cap calendar I had next to the cover page where my goals were. Um, didn't need it, didn't use it, was kind of a waste of space. So instead what I decided to do was the cover page is going to be on the left and so on the right here what I'm drawing now is going to be my calendar like month at a glance view um, sort of spread and instead of having that go over two pages I'm just going to have that on the one page um, just to kind of use that space for something productive and useful that I actually did use last time. Um, and now I'm just going to stick that in and then you're going to watch me faff around for a while trying to figure out how to write the word November in a way that's going to look somewhat decent. I'm not the best at typography or calligraphy or anything like that so I'm just trying to figure out a kind of typography that I like that I can possibly pull off and I actually quite like why I end up why what I ended up with in the end it didn't turn out too bad. Um, kind of messed up a little bit towards the end, the B and the E, but it's fine. It looks okay. <laughs> I'm all right with it. I'm just going through and color coding the days and stuff again. I, I do like this aspect of it. It's nothing super like artistic as it were. Like some people do some really, really beautiful, gorgeous uh, bullet journal spreads. And that's not really what this is meant to be for me. I just want this to be productive and useful and I realize now looking back at this that the I that I'm using in the stamps is actually is actually the exclamation point upside down because all the alphabet in this set is all in capitals there is no lowercase letters in this set of stamps anyway <laughs> all that aside I have nine well ten habit trackers I guess or oh, nine habit trackers 
and then you can't see it right now it's off the screen at the bottom um i sort of changed how i decided how i'm doing my um mood tracker this month as well so i sort of changed that up a little bit so i'm going in oh there we go i cut it out because it took me a long time to write in all the dates and numbers and all that and i thought that's a bit boring so i'm just highlighting everything and doing the key for the mood tracker at the bottom there so I've just got all the same habits I had from last time but I think I added things like vitamins um, I added a sketching tracker because I want to practice my um, sketching a lot more and I've been doing that a lot this month already so I wanted to add a specific tracker for it and then um, I think I added one more now and I can't remember what the other one was um, let me just check quickly and then on the other page I'm doing a my pain tracker and I've added a weight tracker um, that's just for my personal reasons I guess um, I'm not going to talk about that too much on this channel because it's not really relevant but it's just something I'm working on and oh yeah so the other thing that I did was I split up my two Instagram accounts to have separate trackers one for my um, art Instagram account and one for my knitting Instagram account so I have separate trackers for both of those whereas last month I just had one Instagram tracker which uh, was fine but it just meant that I wasn't keeping track of which accounts I was posting on and when all right so now I am doing my YouTube tracker I've just had to turn my lights on because um, it was raining and very cloudy and then it got very dark and uh, yeah and we're headed to winter so hopefully <laughs> this will work fine so I'm just going in and filling in the column so as I mentioned before I have a prep column film edit voiceover thumbnail upload description and publish <laughs> columns for each video that will go onto that list um, and that just helps me to keep track of where I am in the processing of each of these videos because a lot of the time like I might have a day where I can film a couple of videos but then I don't have time straight away to sit down and edit them or if I do then I, I might not be in the right position to be able to do a voiceover straight away so that way I can see where every video is at and then of course if I have a specific idea for a video that I want to do I can jot it down and then when I want to sit down to come like film something I can be like oh okay I have uh, these are the ideas I want to work on next kind of thing so then I did a brain dump page and then my like house stuff to do page uh, which is more just a place for me to organize some thoughts now I'm going through and ruling out the lines for the weeks I'm doing the same thing I did last month it worked well it's what I needed I didn't want anything too fancy and because November ends on like a Tuesday so the last page only has like two days and then I did a goals page to end the month so I'll go through and fill those in later so with my like bullet journal stuff I just kind of create the blank spreads on camera I'll go through and fill in all the stuff to migrate stuff over from the October uh, bullet journal to November probably towards the end of the month maybe over the weekend um, yeah I don't plan on really doing that sort of thing on camera just because a lot of the stuff in, that goes in there is fairly personal and I don't want to like <laughs> go too much into depth about it plus let's be honest this video is already way long enough okay so that's pretty much it for this month thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed this video seeing what my November spread looks like um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video please subscribe there's lots more of this sort of content on this channel and um, and yeah let me know what kind of trackers you enjoy having in your bullet spread what bullet spread bullet journal spreads and what kind of additional pages you include beyond like the usual weeks and things like that um so yeah i will see you guys next time i hope you're staying safe and yeah till next time bye bye <laughs>